guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm in Panari, Nyahururu. Like, how amazing is this place? I hope you guys can see, like, in the background, I have Thompson Falls, and it's so beautiful. It's so green. This place, I don't know, the rooms are amazing. I'm so in love with it. Um, so I was thinking about um, doing a Get to Know Me video while I was here, but then I actually wanted to go live as well. I've never been live on Instagram. It's actually kind of scary, you know, <laughs> going live and ask, letting you guys just ask me questions, maybe get to know me. So that's what I'm going to be doing shortly. I'll do a Get to Know Me on Instagram live, and you guys can ask me any questions you want, and I'll respond to all your questions. So I hope you guys are enjoying. <laughs> So I'm um, doing a live video so that you guys can ask me questions, get to know me a bit. If you have any questions you've been dying to ask me, you can ask me. Some of you guys DM'd me, so I have the questions written down. Whoa. So, so much happening. So Mumbi asked, when did you start your natural hair journey and how long did it take? I started my natural hair journey 2015, March, so it's been three years. In a few months, yeah, it's, it's, it's been quite a while, quite a journey. I've thought about relaxing my hair quite a few times, but I'm still staying strong because natural hair is life. <laughs> yeah, it's been, I mean, three years down now, I know what, what I need to do with my natural hair. So it gets easier. Most people say that it's very difficult, especially the initial stages. But when you get the hang of it, you kind of know what to do after that. So... Someone asked me how old am I? How old do I look? <laughs> 21 maybe? So I'm 24, turning 25 this year. <laughs> what do you do? Abby is asking. Um, so I studied engineering in school. I did architectural engineering. And, whoa, gosh, so many questions, guys. I'll get to your questions, don't worry. Yeah, so I studied engineering in school. I did architectural engineering. Then um, I came back from uni because I studied abroad in the UK and then I got a job at a company called Acorn as a project manager in construction. It's like, yeah, so we coordinate like construction projects between architects, engineers, quantity surveyors. Yeah, so I did that for two and a half years, I think. I started as an internship for six months and I got the job. So for two and a half years, I was working there, but I recently quit my job. So yeah, now I'm just trying to figure out what's next. Then someone else asked challenges I faced as a young girl in school and dealing with guys. <laughs> well, I don't know, like sometimes you just have to be strong, especially when you're studying abroad. Like you just have to, to be independent. You don't, you don't really have anyone to guide you as much as you would at home so I left my mom's house like really really early I think I was 18 going to uni so I guess I don't know you just have to be smart be disciplined the drugs are everywhere especially when you're abroad but you just need to know what you're about and not get shaken by other people so many of you guys thanks for joining okay someone asked do I like makeup um, I guess I do. <laughs> I've been wearing makeup for a while, like I think since I was 16 or something, and it's something I do every single day. <laughs> I actually wear makeup every day. Um, yeah, I usually do foundation almost every day, so I do like makeup. Sometimes it's a hustle and you don't want to wear makeup. Sometimes my boyfriend is like, why are you wearing makeup all, all the time? <laughs> He's right here, by the way. He's pretending to be quiet. <laughs> Yeah, uh -huh. let me see. Joy asked about the virgin hair from Hair Flare. Is it worth it? Does it shed? I'm wearing it right now. It's really nice. Like, it's really not shedding at all. That's the one thing I'm actually amazed because I've, I've had um, human hair before and it's been, it was shedding so much, it was curly hair. But this, I get like two or three strands on the brush when I brush it, which is so little. So I, I really think it's worth it, to be honest. You like my sense of fashion. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so you're a gent, thanks. Did any course in project management? No, I didn't do any course in project management. I just learned on the job. I got fortunate to get a, a job that was very, like, I did so much in two years, like, honestly. So that's something that I'm really grateful for. So yeah, I didn't study project management, but I just learned on the job. 
What's my favorite city in the world? Hmm. Melbourne in Australia. I haven't been, but I really want to go there. Like, it looks so beautiful. I'd love to go there. So I'll read some of the questions. What's your go outlook on a weekend? Probably jeans and a top. <laughs> Actually, I'm wearing a um, top from Kiki's collection on Instagram. It's a very cute top. I'll share with you guys pics and you'll see my outfit of the day. Someone asked me, what's your typical diet like? Wow, this is a struggle. You know, diet is such a struggle. Like, <laughs> fitness is great, <laughs> but diet, oh my gosh. So I'd probably, on a typical day, I'd wake up and have oats. I've shown you guys my oats recipe. So I'd have like um, half a cup of oats, sometimes a quarter cup of oats, cause I don't know, oats fill me up so much. So I'd have that with my bananas and the chia seeds. And then I'd have some yogurt at 11, like natural yogurt as a snack. And then lunch, I'd have like just normal food like rice and chicken. Like I like um, chicken breast. So <clears throat> I'd usually have that or mince. But then the thing is I usually portion control like crazy. So I'd just measure um, half a cup of protein, half a cup or less of rice, <laughs> and then the veggies. And then for dinner, the same thing. Usually in between, I snack on yogurt or like a fruit or something like that. So that's what I normally have. Hey, which protein mix would you recommend? Joy is asking. Wow, I think you should ask. <laughs> I think you should ask him. I don't take protein at all. <laughs> Do you guys want to see him? He's hiding. <laughs> but I think he takes the gold standard, the whey, whey protein. Yeah, it's whey protein, right? Yeah, so that's what it takes. I, I, I'm not about the protein life. I just eat food. Nice stress of attire. What do you use on your skin? It glows. Ay, ay, ay. Guys, I'll do a skincare routine on YouTube because so many of you have been asking. My skin isn't perfect. I think it has its own issues, like seriously, but thank you. I, I, I just use black soap on my face. I wash my face with black soap and I tone. I tone with um, Neutrogena. I don't remember what the name of the product is. And then, yeah, I moisturize with Simple. You know, the small moisturizer, the oil blocking one. That's what I use. I'm your role model. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Okay, so, yeah. Someone was asking, how long have you dated your current boyfriend? <laughs> uh, it's been about... Hi, Marcy. Oh, my gosh. Um, it's been about... How long? Why <laughs> are you giving me that look? <laughs> I think it's been seven months. Seven months. Yeah, I think seven months. <laughs> and then someone asked, what are our difficulties in our relationship? <laughs> Say, what's the difficulties we have <clears throat> in our relationship? Can you hear him? I don't know. But yeah, we have, he claims I never listen to him. And I don't know. I usually listen, but I'm just so hard-headed sometimes. Oh, and he's 90% right, apparently. <laughs> but I'm, I don't know. We're just, I guess we're okay. We, we have our issues, but we deal with them because we respect each other. Like, we put down our egos. That's one thing we always do. If someone is upset about something, we always talk about it. So yeah. Someone asked to be in my live video. I don't know how that works. You seem jovial as a person. There's some energy, actually, a positive one around you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Frank. Hi, Aisha. Hi, Jockey. I love you too. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> Someone asked, are my contacts aesthetic or also corrective? I'm actually blind, like I can't see without my glasses. And sometimes I don't like wearing glasses all the time because they're just a bother on my face, so I like contacts. Right now I'm wearing the pure hazel contacts. I usually like the green ones and pure hazel because they look, they're not too strong and they, they're not distracting, so yeah. Contacts are very un uncomfortable in the beginning. Like, it's, it takes some time to get used to them. But now I'm good, I can wear contacts all day and I'm fine. You saw me in the Plashik ad, have you? Have I used my, their waist trainer? I haven't. I did that ad actually back in 2015. <laughs> I know it's the one in Greenhouse Mall, 
Um, plus Sheik, I haven't used their waist trainers at all. I've never used a waist trainer, but I'd love to try one. So I'd possibly do that and document my journey and see if it actually works. I don't know about waist trainers, guys. Like, do they actually work? I feel like sometimes it could be unhealthy because I've heard some crazy things, but I'd like to try it and see. No, I haven't used it, so I wouldn't know if it, it works or not. Bye, Frank. <laughs> Thanks for the questions. I didn't know that Instagram can detect music. Like when you're playing music on your live feed, it stops. That's so strange. Because of copyright issues, I guess. Do you guys want to see the room? This place is so beautiful. <laughs> it's actually so gorgeous. Like Panari in Nyahururu is amazing. Someone asked what type of green tea do I like? I like the green tea and jasmine by Kericho Gold, so that's, that one's nice. And the green tea and mint, green tea and passion is actually so good. Yeah, I think those ones. Why did I quit my job? <laughs> Ivor, how do you pronounce that name? Ivor. I quit my job cause, I mean, after two and a half years, I felt like, um, I don't know, I just felt like I was, my heart was not there anymore. So I got bored, like work was just becoming a drag. And I needed something a bit more challenging, so I decided to just like leave, you know, because I was struggling, like I was really struggling to find, to enjoy the job. Yeah, so I just left. And right now I'm just like vlogging, blogging, content creating, doing all that stuff, so it's pretty cool. Who inspires SS Davis? You're super beautiful. Who inspires your beauty, lifestyle, and logic? Um, thank you. <laughs> I think I'm my own inspiration, <laughs> but I really like bloggers like Shirley B. Anyang. She's really cool. I like her style and I'd love to be just like her, you know. What tribe am I? Mm. <laughs> I'm Kenyan. I'm Kenyan, okay? <laughs> hey, Natalie, how are you doing? I'm good. Slaughter. You guys have some very interesting Instagram names. <laughs> So let me show you guys the room. I'll get up and show you guys. This place, I don't know, like, I don't know when they opened, but it's just, oh, you wouldn't even imagine it's in Yahururu. Like, who's even in Yahururu? View from the room. Gosh, it's even focus. All the rooms look like this. You can see guys, it's raining. That's the fireplace. It's so nice and warm when they sent, they put up the fireplace. So. Then. then this is the bathroom. You guys like my top? I'll tag the people who I got this top from. It's so nice. <laughs> Look at that shower. What? It's so cool. Yeah, so that's the room. I'll show you guys outside, but let me see if... Oh my god, it's so cold. <laughs> That's how the rooms look. God, it's actually freezing. Oh. I will try on the clothes for you guys. I really requested. Okay guys, so I guess it's goodbye. If you have any questions that you still want to ask me, you can always just DM me. Like, I'm very accessible. <laughs> so just DM me and I'll respond. Yeah, bye guys. Thank God. I'm getting pressed. Can we do this? 
There, I'm ready.